Hi, my name is Kate Coughlin and my story is called The Sandos at Dusk. I'm really delighted that it's been included in this short story collection, the P Personal Best Journal, 4th edition. I'm going to read an extract now. It's about an apprentice woodworker in a harp workshop. The windows darkened early in the weeks before Christmas and I'd lose track of time. Once I raised my head from the cutting board and saw that everyone else had left. The clock on the wall showed it was 6pm, but I'd been too absorbed to notice. Jumping up, I swept the tools to one corner of my workbench, grabbed my coat and rucksack and started down the metal staircase. The now familiar sound of harp music spiralled up to me. I recognised it as a glissando, a sort of musical waterfall which tinkled all the way up and down the scales. I was relieved that the showroom was still open. They must have waited for a late customer. My footsteps echoed on the stone floor as I approached the showroom, sounding out a clumsy percussion over the delicate notes. I knocked before entering the room, but there was no answer, so I pushed the door open. I looked around the room and it was empty except for the harps. The only light came from the moon, filtered through snow-heavy clouds and grimy window panes. The harps faced me from the shadows. They looked like horses waiting to be fed, polished and proud. I backed out of the showroom and turned down the corridor. The door of George's tuning room was slightly open. So George does play after all, I thought, as I approached. I wondered if he was on Lucy's harp. Music filled the dark air, echoing around the brick walls. It was hard to believe it was only one player, but harp music could be deceptive. Players use both hands, eight fingers at a time, Danny had told me. The effect could be overwhelming, a wave sweeping you up, then plunging you down to the gritty seabed. I left quickly that night, hoping that he was too absorbed to hear my tiles on the gravel. The next day I couldn't concentrate on my work. The memory of George's pure chiming chords drowned out every other thought. Staying late was deliberate that evening. I felt nervous anticipation as I waved the others off and promised that I'd pack up soon. As the windows glowed with the violet of dusk, a flurry of glittering notes reached me again. Thank you.